On Ecuador's border with Colombia, dozens of Venezuelan migrants wake up to chill in temperatures. These people have no money, but that hasn't stopped them from traveling along South America's rugged roads. Victor Aguirre left Venezuela two weeks ago with his girlfriend and her three-year-old son. Aguirre was a professional surfer in Venezuela. Now he's on a 2,000-kilometer trek to a farm town in Ecuador, where a relative has offered him a job. The situation in Venezuela is very tough right now. Inflation has made everything very expensive, and our salaries have become worthless. Venezuela's economic implosion is forcing about 5,000 people to leave the country every day, according to recent UN estimates. But those migrating are increasingly unable to pay for their own transport. Along highways in Ecuador, Colombia and Peru, it has become common to find Venezuelan migrants, braving the elements as they escape from their country on foot. At a migrant camp near Ecuador's border with Colombia, Adán Justo and his friends use a cardboard box to make insoles for their worn-out shoes. As soon as we entered Colombia, we ran out of money, so we've been walking and hitchhiking since then. We have been walking for 13 days in very tough conditions. Back on the road, Victor Aguirre and his companions find a ride. After advancing a few kilometers, they board a larger truck that's packed with Venezuelan immigrants. The truck drops them off at a small town. And in no time, Victor and his girlfriend are back on the highway, looking for another ride. I don't want to get stuck on the road at night. It's the worst. We run the risk of getting robbed, and it's also very cold. As night falls, many Venezuelan immigrants find themselves sleeping in the streets in almost freezing temperatures. It's a tough journey, but for some, it's the only path towards a better future. Manuel Rueda, TRT World, Tulcán, Ecuador.